What's up guys, welcome to your 161st Android tutorial for the new Boston. And sorry I cut off that last tutorial so abruptly, but I didn't like the way it was flowing and also it got too long. So I'm just going to pick up uh, right where we left off in the last tutorial. Uh, we set up this resource called, you know, XML widget stuff. So we're going to set that up first before we set up our other activity within the manifest. So all we're going to do is we're going to go to our package name, our project name, go to right, right click, new, Android XML file and we're gonna call this exactly what we called you know this resource reference so we called it widget underscore stuff and what we want this to be is a widget uh, an app widget provider so we're gonna check this and make sure it goes into the resource file folder right here it should um, but just double check make sure it's in there and hit finish so now we have an app widget provider and again, this is what's going to be. This is what we're making reference to for you know our widget class. And so we have this app widget provider, and this is going to help us develop our app or our widget, I should say. But uh, you know we'll probably get into that in the next tutorial. But the main thing I want you guys to realize is this configure. Again, the configure is going to be an activity that gets called right when we develop or create our app on on the home page or home screen. So what we're going to set this configure up to equal is basically, you know, that configure class. Uh, we call it widget configure or config. And we first need to refer to our package name, which my package is com dot the new Boston dot Travis. And then refer to your class name, which was widget config. And that's going to basically say this is the activity I want you to launch when we uh, to do some configuration or do some stuff before we actually display the widget on the person's phone. So it's just going to open up that class. And now what we have to do is we have to define that class in the manifest and say, hey, we also want to make this connection that it's going to be a configuration type type of class. So let's go back into our manifest and we're going to set up that activity uh, that is going to be our configure activity. So again, just give us some space to work with uh, within the application. I'm going to copy this activity up here because it has the intent filters and everything attached to it. So you know, you kind of want to have this format, and we're just going to change the class name to again uh, widget config, and uh, we also want to change the action name and have no category. So we're just going to delete the category out of our intent filter, and we need to change the action name so it knows that this is a configuration type activity. So what we need to make this action name be is again referring to the Android dot app widget dot action dot uppercase app widget underscore config configure I'm sorry and uh, that's basically the action name that we need this this activity to have because again this is going to do the background information for a widget and we need to have this reference if we you know set that up within um, our app widget provider here and again this is connected to our pointless widget class uh, by using this metadata the resource so again everything kind of ties together but we have everything that we need to find in the manifest and uh, that's probably going to be it for this tutorial. Again, just the configure is uh, we have to have this action name if we're going to refer to it within the resource XML. So I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial, and I hope you have a good one. Peace.